Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm still here at the New York Auto Show, and of course, there are multiple changes coming to some of the vehicles in Hyundai's lineup. This is one of the other ones. This is it. This is a 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz. But before we get into this small size, they don't call it a pickup truck over at Hyundai, but definitely it's got a bed. It's a pickup truck. We're talking about the changes. Let's also talk about what the heck is going on here. Just a short few years ago, Hyundai came out with the Santa Cruz. That was basically a truck for people who wanted the flexibility of having a bed, but didn't want a vehicle that drove and rode like a truck. Basically, what this vehicle is, at the end of the day, is a Hyundai Tucson with a bed attached to it. It's almost like the Tucson El Camino of vehicles. Now, of course, there are other trucks to choose from. A lot of them are considered mid-size trucks. This truck is in that mid-size segment. I kind of call it a compact truck. There's another competitor, the Ford Maverick. That's also a small size truck doing a lot of things that people wouldn't necessarily do with such a small vehicle. So what I want to find out is what are, first of all, I want to show you what are the changes that Hyundai has made to the Santa Cruz and is this better than the Maverick and even better than some of the mid-sized trucks? Let's go ahead, let's dive into this new Santa Cruz and find out. Right off the bat, this color, this blaze orange really fits the lines and the style of this truck. At the front of the business, you have a totally different refresh design. So you're looking at updated LED daytime running lamps. You're still gonna have the separation in the lower corner of the LED lighting. And then I like the way there's some flat black and this black chrome finish looks really tough. Now, to make this be more of a truck, you're actually gonna get two tow recovery hooks. So if you need to pull that person's Maverick out of the quicksand, you could do that by hooking it up. I like the way they're orange to match our exterior color. You'll notice the all new grill, flat black in design. We do have a forward facing camera, very important for any type of vehicle, especially a truck that you might be taking off-road, flat black in the center section, and then along the bottom, just a little bit of black chrome. My one zonk is I would like to see in these blocked off areas, which there's some here, and if you go to the other side, some over there would like to see fog lamps, LED fog lamps. But other than that, you could see the bolder appearance for 2025. Now, as we rise up underneath the hood, hood is the same, and you're gonna have two different engine options. Both of them are 2.5 liter inline engines. So you're gonna have an inline four naturally aspirated engine, but then you're also gonna have the more powerful 2.5 turbocharged inline four engine. That turbocharged engine produces around 288 horsepower. On the standard setup, you can tow 3,500 pounds. On this one, you're looking at tow capacity of 5,000 pounds. Now, as we come around the bend, of course, if we have new grill, new lighting, new paint, you gotta have some new style wheels. So I like this simulated beadlock off-road style wheel, the dark satin black finish, machine aluminum with that Hyundai badge in the center. And you'll also see that we have a true, real deal off-road tire. These are Continental off-road tires. You can see the shielding all the way around. This is an 18 inch wheel, 18 inches in diameter. Tire is 245 on the width and a 60 series sidewall. So that is something that's been changed for 2025. You're still gonna get the flat black around the fender openings, which I think is important because if you're gonna go where maybe the road gets a little rough and bumpy, if you hit any twigs or trees or anything, this is gonna take a better beating than if it was painted. Coming down the rest of the vehicle, you're gonna have the flat black on the mirror caps. You got your 360 degree cameras. I like the way you're still gonna get your flat black roof rails so that you can get your crossbars, get a cargo basket, get a kayak carrier. Flat black on the door handles, and then you'll notice the all new cladding on the side with the Santa Cruz name stamped in. I actually like it because I feel like if it was all the single color, it would look a little bland, but this kind of gives you just a little bit more color difference from the side, and it goes well with those fender openings and the cladding around there. Now coming towards the rear, I've always thought they did a great job on the rear portion going into the bed with the Santa Cruz. It, it really does remind me of the original Honda Ridgeline, but definitely 
probably one of my favorite attributes when you look at the style. This door is not closed, let me fix that. There we go. Working our way towards the rear, of course, you're gonna have your four and a half foot bed, like the way that you're gonna have the sliding capability. Once we open this up, well, actually before, I'm going too fast. Let's show off some of the style. LED lighting, nicely integrated into the rear tailgate. This is the 2.5 liter turbo with H-Track. That's all wheel drive. So glad that they just stamped the Santa Cruz name into the back tailgate. And because this is the off-road trim, that's gonna be known as XRT, which you have an all new badge. Working our way down, the dark chrome finish, looking spectacular on both sides. Like I said, you could tow up to 5,000 pounds with this particular Santa Cruz. Opening the rear soft release. We got a full bed liner, and let's see if I can get this open if it's locked into place. Look at this, nice. That tonneau cover slides right open to reveal all of that great space. And just like the original ridge line, hey, sometimes if you can't beat them, join them. Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. We have a drain plug. You could turn this into a cooler, get the drinks. Think about the tailgating possibilities. Think about all of those different things that you can store in here. And then when the ice melts, you just drain it out. But that is the usability of what this vehicle is about. We got LED lighting. You have these adjustable rails for all of the tie down locations. And then what's nice is, is that if you need to close this, you just grab this tether right here and you're just gonna pull. Look at that, I feel like, oh yeah. Get a little, little burn, get a little swole as you're closing that up. And then one, two, three. So definitely compared to a Maverick, a lot more versatility out back, but let's get inside and see what the big changes are for 2025. All right, guys, we are inside this 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, you're right. I want a truck. I rode in my friend's Tacoma. I didn't like it. It was too bouncy. It was too cramped on the inside. I just didn't like it. But I do want truck-like versatility. I'm kind of digging this updated Santa Cruz. How much is it? No word yet on official pricing for 2025, but it's going to be close to what is available now. So basically, you're looking around $42,000 for an XRT 2024 trim, but let's see what changes are different in here because there are some. Let's get to it, to the door panels. Love all the soft touch material up top. There is just a little bit of gloss black, but nothing too crazy around the switch gear and some cloth, but I don't think you're gonna touch that cloth in the center. Soft armrest, door pocket is a little tight, maybe one empanada from Spanish Harlem and a nice Topo Chico to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, here are the changes. You have Twinkie storage, easily put 48 New York Twinkies. If you're wondering what's a New York Twinkie, that's filled with apple cream, apple cream filling because it's the big apple, duh. I would like to see something else though. Give me some contrast stitching. It just seems a little bland in here. Let me know how you feel they're stitching and it's soft, but wouldn't it be nice if it was like orange or red or something other than the same color? Let me know in that comment section. Continuing the newness, massive 12.3 inch screen. There we are at the Javits Center. Full touch screen, just like you've seen on your other Hyundai vehicles. All the apps and all those goodies, nice fast reacting. Look at that. You get your fingerprints, you could eat your KFC and just get your fingerprints, your greasy fingerprints all over it. Working our way down, start stop button, of course. This is all new as well. You have a TFT display. You have to pretend with me though. Right now it's blank because we're at the auto show and I can't start up the car. This all lights up with your AC controls, dual climate, real knobs and buttons. So it's not all in the infotainment system, thank God. And then down below, you got a 12 volt, two USB-Cs, wireless charging, and a place for four Three Musketeers. Four plus three doesn't equal seven when you're looking at Three Musketeers. It's just four. So. If somebody tries to fool you, don't be fooled. Duh. This is going to control that eight-speed DCT, whether you have the 2.5 liter inline four naturally aspirated or the turbocharged. Hill descent control, lock the center diff, two cup holders, gloss black, but you're really not going to touch it as long as you aim correctly. Open that up. We got a nice little tray here for some planters peanuts. That's the official nut of New York City is planners. Make sure you know your nuts when you come to New York. 
or they're going to kick you in the nuts. I do love the way you got enough room for a snow globe. One of those little globes where it has the Empire State Building and King Kong climbing the Empire State Building. And it looks like a little figurine of Lori being grabbed by King Kong. You can keep that snow globe in there and I promise you it won't leak any water. I promise. Nuts. Remember that. Seats. The leather style material XRT stamped in the back. Nice bolstering. It is manual adjustment for the passenger. I have electric adjustment over here. And if you haven't noticed, we have a sunroof because I could close it and I get dark. Open it, sunroof. But why don't you come over here to the business end? I want to show you behind the new wheel in this updated Santa Cruz. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your electric seat setting, easy to get to. No memory electric seat settings on this vehicle. So you could set it, but you better remember where you put all the controls because if somebody comes and changes it like me, it's not going to be back exactly the way that you had it. Seats are comfortable. I'm six feet tall. And I think that's the nice thing is that there's a nice arrangement of space in here compared to like a regular midsize truck. Steering wheel has the leather. You do have your Morse code for the letter H. Kind of weird, but I guess that's Hyundai's new direction. You do have paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down that eight speed GCT. And you do have a 12.3 inch digital display. I promise it will show you things. We're at the auto show and I cannot fire this up because I will kill people with carbon monoxide poisoning. That's what happens when you start up a car inside. Not good. Gotta have proper ventilation. Let's get into the back seat and see if there's proper room back there for you to stick your friends in the Santa Cruz. Hi right, guys, back seat time. And once again, it's one of those situations that I don't know if there's any really small truck you could get that's gonna give ample amount of rear seat room, but you can see that in the Santa Cruz, they do a pretty good job with this being like the interior of a Tucson. I got plenty of headroom. Leg room is decent. I can move this up just a little bit, um, but you do sit very upright in here. You do have large pockets where you could put a couple New York style pizzas in here, two USB-Cs, you got your rear AC vents, and you do have a nicely padded armrest with two cup holders. But I know you wanna go for a drive, especially with that 288 horsepower version of the Santa Cruz, which we're in, we can't yet. But we gotta wrap it up from the New York Auto Show, so let's get to it. All right, guys, been another great time here at the New York Auto Show. Definitely wanna thank Hyundai for getting us access to this Santa Cruz. Let me know what you think. Has Hyundai made the right changes for the model year 2025 to compete well and continue to compete well with the Ford Maverick? And of course, all those mid-sized trucks that we talk about a lot on Rainey's Rides. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Rainey's Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up, LG Rady, working hard as always. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.